You got Professor Juice in the Almighty building. That tool and the Loaded Warrior. Oh, for once you guys have suck. You say that every beginning of the episode. Yeah, and I'm actually getting more and more impressed that you guys don't suck. How about you don't say it and you just proceed on with the episode? <laughs> but then it wouldn't be the juice thing. Did, did that hurt your feelings, Akeem? Yeah, that, 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 that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. did. That one, was episode, some one episode without you. Do you want? Do you want a compliment? Do you want a compliment? Yes, I like to see it. Is that what your daddy didn't give me? Stop. Give me one. Is that what your daddy didn't give me? Oh, look at me, I'm a king. No one didn't give me compliments when I was when I was younger. Ooh, boo hoo. Shut your ass up, bro. But welcome to the blurred lines. Let's get right. along. Fuck them. But yeah, welcome <laughs> to the blurred lines podcast. Uh, how's everybody's week? Mine. Uh, it's a blur, to be honest. Ah! Uh, 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 oh, I, I cut that, that, that out. I cut that out. Blurred pun. That was not actually intended. Like, yes, it was. It wasn't actually. It was. It was a blur because I. I Were you like He week? won't stop with the jokes. No, y'all. it's exactly. not. Exactly. We get it. You're part blurred line though. Oh my yeah. so god. Fucking funny. No, it's because I I just do a lot of stuff. Dude. I need to clean my glasses. It actually, it's kind of blurry. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, 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 AIDS. What? <laughs> no, just, just why are you gotta Christ. fuck it up? <laughs> Boy, is that is that how you? No, I'm being, I'm, I'm, being, I'm, I'm did, joking. I'm joking. I'm doing the jokes. You know, like everyone else does. How did that even? I'm just, 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 I'm doing the jokes, you know. I'm saying stuff. You guys saying stuff, you know. Ah, blurred lines. Ah, we're out here. Ah. No, that's not what it is. Well, fuck y'all niggas. All right. <laughs> uh, Speaking of AIDS, let's talk about first dates. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that how you got yours? No, nigga. <laughs> ain't no AIDS in. This, ain't no AIDS in this pot, bro. <laughs> no, no offense to anyone who have AIDS. First dates. Oh yeah, so yeah, we were talking earlier about like what's the what's the, like the best first date move, or if uh, there's like is there like an appropriate first date? Like first date move, like you put on somebody, or like like a type of first date. Fuck it, talk about both. <laughs> so what's like the first like for you? Like you met how my you, my first date moves. Yeah. Um, Where would it, you go? It depends on if I really like the girl. If I really like the girl, I'm gonna try and go somewhere private, so we can private. Ooh, so I can uh, abandoned you know. movie theater. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But if it's just like Locker, somebody, uh, somebody I'm just trying to get to know, uh, probably somewhere like just something fun to eat or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. All right, that's fucking whack. <laughs> How is that what's, whack? What's yours? Uh, I mean, I like doing like other shit. Like what? What's the other shit? You know. So here's what I'm gonna do. So we go to the woods, right? <laughs> what? Oh my! God. The woods? On yeah, a go- serious note, what would be your first date? Yeah, we will go to the woods. Reggie, on a he, serious he note, he said Juice is gonna go to the woods. So. I'm gonna go to the woods. Okay. Right. Here's the thing about today. Here's this. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, but everyone when woods don't. Just, exactly. Just throwing that out there. Exactly. All right. So here's the thing about the woods. All right. And you're thinking about first dates. Okay. We're just dates in general. We're so used to how dates are just normally just movies and dinners and you no, know, mm-hmm. just going out to eat. Maybe go to a bar. Boring as fuck. We all do. You gotta spice things up. Yeah. Like. Well, know, honestly, I don't really usually date. To be honest, I don't actually do dates. You don't do dates. I the don't. fuck do you do? You just meet someone and just be like, "Yo, it's official." You know. Just I don't really. Oh, so you're just like in the talking phase. No, I'm just saying. What? I don't really go out on You're dates. not giving me any type of fucking context whatsoever. I don't know what to tell you because I just don't really go out on dates like Bro, that. I'm not telling you okay. about the fucking time I'm about to throw someone into the woods. What? Yeah, just let wolves... <laughs> okay. All right. Just let the wolves take care of them. No okay. to everybody okay, no, 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 out there. No. Don't go on a date with Don't go juice. on a date with Juice. Oh, fuck you. But, uh, but, uh, <laughs> that, no date Juice. I like that. I no like... Date, don't date Juice. Don't, no date Juice. No date Juice. That sounds interesting. I'll, I'll work. We'll work on it. No, it's definitely... Don't work on it. Cancel Keem. I'll tell you that for now. Nah, Cancel Keem deserves to be on the shirt. It does. <laughs> but uh, on the 
but oh, oh yeah, yeah well, oh yeah, well I want to say about like uh, dating. Um, yeah, it's just like how we don't know. To me, I think everything is a fucking date. There's no such thing as like, if two people are going out and they're semi interested in each other, it's a fucking date. Wrong. It's a fucking date. It's a fucking Wrong. date. All right, let me tell y'all how to do this. We put my beanie on, right? Oh mm. gosh. Let me tell you something about a date. If it's your first date, you're going to want to enjoy it. You're going to want to do what you need to do. Let me tell you something about a date. Fellas. Pussy ass bitches. <laughs> don't, don't look at the erected beanie right here. Just look straight into my eyes. Because I'm, shut up. <laughs> let me explain to y'all. When you go on a date, don't be, don't be playing. Don't bring her to the movies and then dinner after. Bring her to interact. Bring her with a feature of interaction. Okay. Don't you you want to talk to her? You want to get to know her, right? You want to see if she's about this, right? About just what talk exactly? To, just talk. A lot of the, just talk in the movie theater. No, no one talks in the movie theater. I do. I do. I do that shit all the time. How far does that get you, Reggie? I don't know. It depends on how fast they kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> Go on dates where you know the activities you're doing are interactive, knowing that you're able to talk to her. Like for example, bring her on a date where you know for a fact. Like for example, I one of my dates was this. Painting with a twist. Okay. Alright, cool. Wine, snacks, painting each other fucking up each other's pictures. Okay. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. It was successful. So you and, like to go on dates. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, and then after that, what else do I do? I take that person to child one. To what? Child it's one. It's child, a, child one. Child one. Child one. What is well, that? I, I heard child Korean, one. I thought you were like it's it's Korean just... barbecue. Basically, where <laughs> where you they you literally just give they give you the ingredients and you cook the food with. I them. know what Korean barbecue. Exactly. Is. I know you know what that is. I'm just saying what you do at child one. Oh, okay. That's another form of interaction. Wait, okay. wait, wait. I gotta go to another restaurant to cook my own food. Yes, but what are you gonna do? You, you oh, oh, I'm ready. I'm gonna bring her to Texas Day, Brazil, to try to spend multiple amounts of money on her, and hope to God I'm get some. Hey, he's economic. Get, I'm, get, I'm down with that. Exactly. Hope to God I get some vagina. No. I mean, both of those situations. What is wrong with yeah. actual communication? There's nothing wrong with communication, but I mean, I don't do boring communication. Well, you know that, right. but you won't know it's boring until you actually try it. But how is that different from what I do when I say go? Somewhere to eat. If I'm really not that interested in that person, I just want to get to know so them. So you're just going to... Yeah! How are you going to get to know them if you know you're mostly quiet 90% of the time? No, but that's not... That's what I'm saying if I want to... If I really like the person, I'm not... I'm just trying to get in... Get in the bed with them if I really like them. So... So you won't... You, you won't talk to them at all? All that will come after. All that comes oh, after. So, so you, you would rather fuck first. No, 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 there's nothing yes. wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you're you're I, fucking human. There's, to be honest, yes. There's really nothing wrong with it. All the other stuff comes after. My idea. Wait. No the shit, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't blame you. Now, this is a game to know a person. For me, I think that there should be, like, a way to just ask people any... You know that term, there's those things, stupid questions? I never believed that, ever. Literally, I think you should ask someone anything. Like, hey, what would be interesting? A bear on cocaine or a, a whale on cocaine? <laughs> okay, you mean conversation starter? Yeah, a conversation oh, starter. That's man. how you get to know a person. Uh, if you, read, if, if, you, 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 if you start a conversation like that, it's not going to finish. It's not going to Yo, I'm telling you, there's like no... Because if you say like, oh, what high school, high, what high school did you go to? Bro... That's just over in two sentences. Yeah. That's oh yeah. True. I went to Charter. I went to uh McDolphin Bay High or I don't know whatever uh I don't know high school names like that, bro. <laughs> West Broward. West Broward. Bro, I barely even went to high school. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Bro, man, you gotta get to the nitty gritty. Like go get to that corner of your mind where it's like, so if you eat one thing out of your house and it was edible, what would it be first? Come on, Wait, that's what? that's the dark part of your mind. No, not dark. I mean, like you didn't say dark. Not that's dark. It's like the corner like, part of my yeah, mind. Yeah, the corner ask. part. Yeah, the corner part of your mind. That's what you want to ask? Yo, just read tell those shower thoughts. What? That's not a shower thought. No, no, but I'm just saying, like read, like just like read. Just that's ask crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be crazy because I don't think that question. Like just me. something that's unusual, just to get a conversation. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. 
Like, it doesn't have to be like, oh, um, what's your favorite color? Bro, again, over in two seconds. Mm. Oh, yeah, my favorite color is green. That, oh, my God, my favorite color is uh, purple. Why that's you say, oh, my God? Why, why, that's crazy how conversations start like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's also that quite surprise where, like, you know, I said something about my favorite color. Since you're being a little pussy ass bitch no, no, about it. Bad. Don't put your fucking dirty ass foot on my damn mic. Well, Reggie, why are you guys are, my threat? Keep shut the fuck up. All right, guys, yeah, sorry about that uh, interruption we just had. Uh, just uh, Akeem's dirty ass foot somehow touched my goddamn <laughs> mic. And put and it cut off. Please stop. <laughs> you gotta give it a virus. Exactly. For my foot? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Your foot well, what's like what's probably... COVID for feet? Your COVID feet. <laughs> Kofi. <laughs> Kofi 19. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But back to what the conversation was. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's like getting, point. To, yeah. Yeah, it's getting to know somebody. Yeah, that's good. Because that's like, there should be no like stupid questions. And also... Okay, I, I, can, I can... Well, there I is such a thing as awkward that. silence. And that is common amongst you. Yeah, guys, you know, yeah. the other person's not willing to be open about it. They usually are, but sometimes you gotta really come out and say, you're right. You gotta come out your comfort zone and ask specific questions. Not to the state of being too dirty, but to the point of adding, like, when you start that conversation, it's a conversation starter. It leads on to other conversations. Yeah. But to be very honest, you gotta be careful what conversation you start off with. You're, let's be real. You're gonna say, like, you're gonna say something like, of course, oh, I mean, like, you why can't... is fungus on ass is worse than feet? If you start off with that, you're like, you really gotta think to yourself, is that really the smartest thing to say that comes out of your mouth? Or, oh boy. Or, I'm just saying, I would much rather have fungus on my ass than I would have my, on my feet. Wait, why would you want on your ass? What are we talking about? You brought this Well, up. you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you were gonna do You see, well, we just proved our point. It's not a date, it. but at the same time, it's a conversation. Story. Exactly. So we, you wanna here. hear from you guys. Would you rather have fungus on your ass or a fungus on your feet? Or blur questions. <laughs> oh or how about God. this? To the fans, what do you think is what do you think is like the best way to start a first date? What would you do on the first date? Where would you take that? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, it's shit like that. But before you answer that, would you rather have fungus on your ass or fungus on your feet? Don't answer that. Question. Would you rather Please. Go on, would you rather go on a plane date or an interactive date? Fungus on your ass on the first date or fungus on your feet on the first date? <laughs> movies or conversation? Would you have fungus <laughs> in the movie? No more fungus! Oh. Why'd you have to bring that up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Keith. <laughs> I never brought it. I didn't know he was going to continue the fungus. It's juice. You helped. Fuck you know he's going to be all Look at you. Fuck you both, okay? Come what, on. What did I do? Shit. You're bored. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, of course, you know, we want to hear from more, uh, from more of you guys about, you know, just good conversation starters. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even have to be on dates, just like, just get to know people in general. No, that's actually good, because yeah. if, if you, if you do a conversation starter like that, and then the person is like, eh, like, is that somebody even? Nah, I wouldn't recommend, like, doing that shit, like, at a subway, you know, you just, like, walk up to somebody, you know, bro. No, I'm not talking about a random person, I mean, like, somebody you want to get to know, and then you, you do a conversation starter, and then... They're kind of like, eh, that's weird. Like, yeah. Is that somebody you even want to continue it, it trying to get weird, to know? It can be weird conversations, like, within, like, not, it can be out of the ordinary conversations, even in, like, the subjects you like, too. Yeah, so like, I think. both, like, basketball, like, what do you think would be uh, funnier in the slot box? Uh, Stephen Curry or Clay Thompson? You know, like, I mean, they'll, they'll probably fight, like, girls, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Transition time! Uh, okay. Alright, uh, we also had a little conversation about the conventions that you, okay, we know that you have the most um, um, experience yes. when, you know, when it comes to like going I'm to a convention guy. And yes. this is where, and this is Ludi we're talking about. So, ironic. No, that's true. So, what's the, uh, what's your point of view on like, what are like the best ways to like have a good convention? Have a good convention? Um, it depends on what you're going to the convention for. If you're going to a convention just to meet up with friends, I would pick a smaller con. But if you're going to a convention to like go all out, uh, see a lot of stars, and do pick up a lot of convention loot, 
even meet new people. Go you trying to mention loot? Yeah. Are you crazy? It's looty. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, ha ha ha. I, I always come from the convention with some loot, something. Oh, okay. Oh, like souvenirs and shit? Uh, see, it's a lot of little nuanced things that conventions do. Like, there's one where there there's, I like to go to Mizukon. Mizukon does this thing where, like, it's kind of like a, a scavenger hunt for, like, with badges. Mm-hmm. Like, you do a little task at the convention, or you, you get things or whatever, and then you get badges, and then at the end of the, 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 con- the convention, your your ID patch, mm-hmm. your your pass mm-hmm. is like filled with badges, mm. and it's like it's like your your bunch of Pokemon trainer. No, well, kind of, yeah. Yeah, you get a badge. For yeah, your exactly gym. for like different things that you do. Oh, it's like a scavenger hunt. Yeah, it's, it's like scavenger hunt in the fact that you go to different locations and do things, uh, and then yeah. you get a badge. Like that's that. a good way to like kind of promote like you know the smaller like venues and everything. And it's really cool because like I I've gotten them and then. Like I found myself wanting to get them and get more, and that's a really cool way to interact with the con and meet people and like, oh, I have that badge too. Oh, I don't have that one. Where'd you get it from? How do you get it? Oh, so there's kind of like more to it when it comes to like the community, just like yeah, exactly. You know, like just kind of meeting up and like kind of networking. Yeah. I mean, is there like much networking to be done there? Oh, or? it's lots of networking. Well, we're definitely gonna do some networking when we go to the uh, Otaku Fest. Mm-hmm. Uh, Otaku Fest. January 15th and 16th this week, we're going. Blur Nines will be out there. Hashtag cancel key. <laughs> yeah, but I personally, I like smaller cons because smaller cons, I get like a vibe from the people. And I meet so many, I get genuine interactions from a smaller con. And a bigger con, you get kind of get lost in the whole chaos of everything. What's like the biggest star you ever met at those cons? Biggest star? Yeah. Goku. The voice actor for Goku? Yeah. The English voice actor? English voice actor. Oh shit, how was he like? <laughs> you would not even know, like, literally I was in the in a panel with him and then like, I was with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dante's voice actor. Ruben Langdon. Ruben Langdon. I was in the panel with him. Dante, what do you mean? Dante from Devil May Cry. Really? Yeah, Ken's, oh. Ken's motion capture, oh. the voice actor. Yeah. Oh. I got a lot of pictures with him, actually. I got all his signatures. Um, and he was, Goku was in the back. And like, I keep seeing this guy ask questions, ask questions. I'm like, who is this guy asking him all these questions? And I look back to see who it was. And I'm like, this guy looks familiar. And I'm just like, why did you look cool? <gasps> That's Goku! And I went back and I was like, oh man, Goku's in here. And then I was like, oh man, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I get you up fucking and fangirl me? Oh yeah, I was too. Let's, let's be real. Yeah, I felt like you were just like kind of fanning your ears. I was. Your face was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I, was. I actually him. met him walking, I was getting snacks and he was walking by and I was like, Goku, oh man, I love you, man. You were so part of my childhood. Da, 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 da. And then, like, he was like, oh, thank you. Uh, I think I dapped him up or hugged him or something. And then, he went off and squeezed. Obi just said, said uh, thanks, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, imagine, like, you're someone's biggest fan, and they just hit you, like, thanks, you little that? bitch. And he just, like, walks away. Yo, that's the way it crushed them. <laughs> no, though. but also, you only get those in small cons. You get to interact yeah, you'll, yeah. with the uh, voice actors. At the big cons, you cons. mainly get like the freaking movie stars of like MCU. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like New York Comic Con, you get like those motherfuckers. Yeah. It's really hard to interact small, with them. Yeah, the small cons, you get the voice actors and the comic writers, like big hit comic. Like, let's be real here. We all have a person we want to meet. Mm-hmm. So fucking bad. I don't even fuck about the actors. You like, know what? Who would y'all want to meet at a convention? That is something. But not an actor. Like, of a, like a big hit movie. You want to meet them like, they could be a creator of a comic book. I met a voice actor. actor. Michael J. White. You met him? Yeah. Hmm? Michael J. White, for real? Yeah. Oh, I heard he's really cool. He's fucking cool, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Michael J. White, this cool? Yeah. Are, are, you, are you actually, like, cool? Yeah, that man is cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, I figured, dog. It's like Michael Jai White. He's really one. I feel like Michael Jai White. He's one of the hardest working 
actors because he's literally probably the guy that can make six movies within like five months. He's well, a lot he is Jackson, on it. He is uh, same with Samuel Jackson. Yo, Michael J. White, he is like on like these movies and he uh-huh. does his own stunts. Yeah. Like, I respect him as That's like, why I like him. He's a martial artist. He's a martial artist. artist. Exactly. That's why I like him. And he was fun. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, that's always like gonna be like that's part of the childhood too. I mean, even though the movie was like kinda like okay. But, but either way, Michael like, J. It, White made it though. He made that movie. Yeah, he made the movie one more uh, spawn. Michael J. White? Michael J. White. I don't think he's gonna be Jordan. I'm sorry, Michael J. White. What? He Yo, Michael J. White didn't make that movie. He did not make that movie. He didn't even produce it. He acted. No, as in like he 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 like, made it come to life. Exactly, he made it come to life. That's yeah, he, what I'm talking about. It's like, weird, he didn't really like it. <laughs> oh really? He, yeah. he didn't really fuck with it. That's on him. Yeah. Like, well, we loved it. It's, it's, it's not for him movie. anyway. And besides, when it comes to, like meeting your your a celebrity, like I kind of learned that. Is it really a point me like kind of fangirl- fangirling over somebody? Sometimes yes. it is. It's all right to do it because honestly, honestly if I, if okay, but if I would have met Drake, no, okay. who the, what man is gonna fangirl over? That's Drake? what I'm saying. Like, but he's like one of the Listen, biggest artists in the world. Reggie, if you met Kevin Conroy, I'm sorry, I know you. You will be so happy to meet that nigga for real. No, I'll be man. happy. No, I'll be happy if he's able to have a conversation with me. Yeah, yeah, I know. But at the same time, he's a person that comes. But if I find if I find him like in a Denny's one day, like, all right, bro, cool that he's here. But at the same time, like, I gotta move on with my life. Cause like, like I said, it's a lie. If I fucking met Todd motherfucking McFarland, actually, are you gonna kiss on the lips? Yeah, Kim, are you? Hey, Todd, I'm being real with you. I'm a pretty good kisser, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm being straight up, bro. Hey, I'm not even straight. Top motherfucker, motherfucker, Fong, he created the first superhero I've ever experienced. There you go, this boy. <laughs> I'm that boy. Yes. He created the That's first true. superhero yeah. I've ever experienced and loved on the spot. You gotta, you gotta really think about it. Did he touch your G spot too? He what touched every single it? spot in soul. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this man single-handedly made a character. To me, honestly, no offense, I have more. This this character is more important than Black Panther. I mean, more, best Whoa. black. I'm sorry. Well, you best. Are, yo, I'm hitting that. Those best, are fighting words right there. Yeah, best black oriented character. Yeah. Them is Black Panther. Words. I call it. I'm gonna fuck. Them. Them is fighting so black, words. Listen, when Black Panther came out, people got people were so high they praised for being the big black superhero. On the television, on the movie screen. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm not gonna count movie Black Panther because I love Black Panther long before he was in the movie. They make it seem like Spawn was in a hitter. I'm not saying the movie was a hitter, but like make it seem like it was a hitter, hitter for us though. It was. It was a hitter for us. Uh, back to the whole like uh, convention thing. So I mean, so we got like the communicate. We got like the networking with like other uh, venues, and we also got like you know, uh, let's see. Uh, exposure for venues and also like yeah. so, all, but things that conventions always like have lead to like one of the best things, which is like cosplay too. Yeah. So I me mean, a lot, I see a lot of people do like cosplay fashion shows, like fashion. Yeah. Or uh, like you know just like showing off in general. People work mm-hmm. hard as fuck yeah. when it comes to the uh, cosplays too. I know we talked about like the la- uh, a couple of podcasts ago how people they'll spend like thousands of hours and dollars. Yeah. Working on like animatronic suits and also yeah, but that is like really extreme. Your everyday, uh, um, your everyday cosplayer yeah, that's that's fandom. Do. That's it's right. Fandom. That's it's pure fandom. But then you also have like you know the people who like just want to live like their favorite character. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was one girl I follow on um, on Black uh, on the Instagram. Uh, was really a uh, pretty black girl. I forgot her name. What? Um, but she uh. Does like a Sailor Moon cosplays. Sailor Moon cosplay? Yeah, and she kills it every time. Oh really? Yeah, she What's kills it. Oh, you don't remember? Her name? No, I don't remember her name. I'll make sure. Is I she know. local? No, no, no. She's not local. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because maybe we we can like network and get her on the show. Well, who knows? We're just saying hi, lady. We don't really. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk people, <laughs> and I'll give you my number. Actually, um, when you cosplay at a convention, 
I'm going to say the con is not your con anymore. If you cosplay, you belong to the fans. You belong. So you have to take pictures with these niggas? I mean, it's kind of... Especially if your cosplay uniform is on. Okay, I'm going especially... to say from my experience. When I was when I cosplayed as, as Shawn Masuda for the first time, I didn't actually play Street Fighter like that. But my brother loved that character so much that I wanted to like be that character. and Because he was cool, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be that character. So I go to the convention, and... All these people were like, yo, Sean, Sean. And I was like, just happy that they recognized me. And I was like, got swept into that whole thing. I started taking pictures of everybody, but I had one to go to panels. But by that time, after I'm done taking pictures, your panel's over or it's halfway done. You don't want to do it anymore. Maybe you're hungry now. So the convention is not for you when you cosplay. So put that in your mind when you want to cosplay. Uh, I, 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 I understand how you feel. Then there's a time where you know you kind of do get. I'm pretty sure a lot of people get tired of like motherfuckers coming up to them just to like take pictures and shit. But that's their fault. That, you're gonna go to, you're I don't think so because I've never had that experience. I know, I know, I know, I know. But sometimes you know, uh, it's just you just want to just have your favorite like thing on, and you and there it depends on the person too. Because yeah. if they want, if they want to take have a picture taken with you, of course you ask politely. But, but that's usually like, no. why cosplayers do it, though. They do it. Yeah, for they, that. they don't just do it just to where they do it because not only that they kind of want the attention, yeah. they want to spread the pop. Yeah, like, I'm just saying. But to say that you belong to the convention yeah, is I'm like, s- it, I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a stretch. No, it's no, not. I, I, Trust read me, that, it I read is. that. I read that. It's, a, it's, I read it's that a little bit of a stretch. I've done it. I know. I feel I feel it, but I know a lot of cosplayers. It's the same. He signed up to be a part of that. Uh, yeah, no, but at the same time, even though he signed up, until he takes that entire suit off, he's a walking attraction. You cannot, see, even exactly. though he say no. Oh, of course, but, but he's like a, it, 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 if we're talking about someone like smaller, like you know, someone who just wants to dress up as the anchor avatar, and they just want to like gently walk around, be amongst the people. Oh yeah, like you know, constantly. Like they, and so random guys like, hey bro, let me take a picture of you. And he's gonna say yeah because that's like, they, yeah, they that's work like, hard on it for the recognition. I'm not. I'm so not saying. I'm, I'm not saying anyone's gonna not work hard, but you know, of course, like you know, you know if niggas says no, you know, yeah, but people can say no. Nine times out of ten, they're gonna say yes. Okay, I agree. With you. I, I I I agree with you, but like, I just don't like believe the whole like you know, you belong to the convention. I'm thing. telling you, it's like that. I feel you, I feel you, because I haven't been I've there. I've never been to many, we can't say much. We've, I've only been to only like been to three. I've only been to one. So I can't really, I do believe that because it's weird that I read that somewhere. When you go into a convention cosplay wise, okay, I that's something I understand. You can say no, obviously, but when you go into a cosplay, especially decked out. Yeah, it's true. Oh yeah, of course. You're, you're literally going to, the attention you get is going to be amazing. It's going to be um, And it makes you feel good, so you're going to want to take the picture. There, there, there are some people that will say no. But at the same time, when you go to the convention, expect the fans to... Re- it's like going there as a fully decked out sword. If you're just going there because, oh, shit, I know I can do this. And you don't expect the attention. I'm sorry, man. They expect the attention. I expect the attention. It's, and, it's uh, just how it is. That's the culture. Nah, I can't say no. much about it. Spectacular transition. You don't have to do that. I'm going to do it every tra- fucking time. Tra- you know he got to make a spectacle. What's your fucking spec, spec, spec? You're, you're Put some spec on my name. You're spec, spec, spec. To, shut up, bro. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, um, the cowboy. You brought this up. The cold cowboy co- community really wants to bring back the cowboy bebop series, and um, yeah, I I know you guys don't want it. No, 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 no. I was like really confused on where you saw this. Who wanted it and why? I read it on a news article because um, I follow a lot of like their culture articles, and they I think it was like a hundred thousand signatures saying to bring back season two. Maybe they said bring back season two, but make it better. <laughs> That's <laughs> no, what they meant. Okay, I read That's a, what they meant. I read a quote from one of the articles. The guy was like that he liked how they did it, how they paid homage to the original anime, which they did do. 
You can't knock them for that. They paid they did. homage to the original anime, but in the shittiest way possible. But but they uh, apparently people liked it. So my yeah. review of the Cowboy Bebop series, the live action one, I give it a four out of ten. Not because you know I'm just gonna dog on it, but because the reason why I gave it a four mm -hmm. is because that as an actual live action TV show, it was pretty crappy. Okay. Like, if I didn't know anything about Cowboy Bebop, I would still think it was it's a crappy show. Not even, like, me being a fanboy about okay. it. Okay. Because it felt like a, a, a parody that more than the adaptation. Well, there was no type of, like, yeah, you're paying homage to it, but, like, as a fan, as a fan, also slash, slash like, team goer, like, it's kind of felt like this shit's supposed to, not supposed to feel that familiar to me. What do you mean? Because there's some scenes where, you know, uh, Spike and Vicious are communicating and uh -huh. it, the mood did not, like, set, the, set it at all, all within right. the TV, within the, the anime show. What's up? I'm going to say this once. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, I don't care how much hate I get for it. Wait, did you finish it? No, that's besides the point. <laughs> Here's, I'm going to point this out to all you anime fans. And they're probably going to hate me after this. I'm going to fuck. I bet you 90%. I bet you at least a high percent that there's nothing wrong with the live action show. Hear me out. I bet you there's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. There are animes, I said this last time, there are animes that look good on paper in anime form. But once they turn it into a live action, mm -hmm. it looks, it does not look good at all. That means they grab the exact same replica of characters. They grab the exact same personalities. They grab the exact same combination of people. They do everything right. It just doesn't translate translate good to live action because it is a very shitty concept in live action form. For example, let's talk about DBZ. Do you know I believe they can't do fucking DBZ whatsoever? Let's be real here. You're going to get a half saying. No, no, a full-on sane monkey to defend the world against other outworldly threats, which is common to do. But if they're grabbed for all these fans out there that want to grab the exact set of replica and turn it to live action, it's going to look, it possibly might be fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> question, question. Go. Question. So if they did try and do a live action DBZ, tales or no tales? The story for DBZ when you think about it, it's a little straightforward, but convoluted. No, no, tails. Like, the, because Saiyans have tails. So would you want monkey tails or no monkey Bet tails? Bet you 20, it looks stupid in live action. But so it no looks tails? great in anime. Tails or no tails? I don't know. I If I need to see, I really need to see it. But that's the whole so thing about like, it. Though. So what if it's like a... You never know. So what if you it's like know. a PV, PVC pipe, like on a nigga's like... Like back and it's just like painted brown with like I bet you with some like you know fuzz on it. I bet you they'll nail the fight scenes, but the the, the storyline they won't fucking nail. Because uh, you're grabbing a story DBZ storyline and turning it into a live action yeah. You're grabbing a story DBZ story and turning it into live action. Yeah. Tell me that's not gonna is that gonna look normal to you? Not saying normal, are, but is that gonna look right to you on that on full screen? Okay, so there are some animes or just some like shows that does not translate well into live action, and I think that's where like the original trend is, was especially with One Piece, Avatar, and also um, they're making another Avatar lab. Uh, they're making another yeah, Netflix. on Netflix, Netflix, right? I think with the budgeting, and I think that's where movie producers don't think high enough. How they where? Coach. No, no, I think they don't think high enough when it comes to this. The, bud the, the budgeting that you're putting into live action actors when it comes to paying them, getting sets, props, all that stuff, you can put that all into an animated animation team. Mm. You've already, all you need are voice actors and also are like, you know, no big names. Huh? What do you mean? No big names. No, what like, you you know, yeah, transition to what? Huh? Transitioning it, like, just make it to a, uh, an, uh, an animation team. Uh, maybe like just, for effects? Just add more animation or not making it to live action? No, right? it's not making it to, to live action. Imagine if we're actually going into... But then they like, just mean, like, like to animate it. That's what I'm saying. Like, they can. if you're going to make that type of, like, production, I don't need to see big stars 
in fucking animes. Yeah, I agree. I do that. not need to see Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell. That is something that yeah. like she's not even a fan of Ghost in the Shell. I guess. She picked that shit up like as they told her about it. She never saw anything. And I'm not saying that they, you have to, but it's more like, you know, what would be the point? I don't I need to it. see her there. Yeah, I get it. If you can put that much effort into a live action, you can you put, that put it into another series. You might, yeah, just make it to another series or just put it into a movie. Pretty. What, what, Imagine. What do you mean a movie? Like, a, like an animated movie? A, maybe just okay. make it to an animated movie. Yeah. Imagine someone dumping uh, like $60,000 into paying an actress or an actor, like you know, per hour because they gotta pay these niggas. Yeah, but that's why I actually didn't bread. Watch but it. again, this is what I'm saying. Like they gotta pay these niggas bread just to stay on, like you know, do the their scenes, uh, do the lines, remember all that shit. You pay six thousand dollars to get like thirty minutes of a really dope ass uh, show with just like you know, an animation team. Yeah. With live action, because you know, with the voice actors, all based off contracts. The the thing is, uh, with with uh, with anime, um, turn into live action. They want to get the traction, so they're going to use these big name people. More and more people are getting into anime and live action just because like how the pandemic was or how lockdown was how more people were just like just getting into it it's fun yeah so funny. you don't need big names anymore it's dragon ball z or demon slayer it's... demon slayer fucking went ballistic demon slayer i think was like one of the highest grossing movies of, of uh for that month for like that month yeah. that got released yeah it's you know? fan ratings and money it's all about the money. It's how much money you can milk off of something. Yeah, but the thing is, it's a niche market. It's not a broad market. Yeah, but honestly, they, some developers need to understand there's certain movies you can actually make the money off. Like, for example, Death Note. That's a movie you can put to live action. I'll call that right now. No. They, no, they, you can they already it. did it. You they, can put it to live action, but... They fucked up. They but did it, their it own was twist. very terribly done. It was, think, think about the story. Just grab a kid that thinks more about society, knows the rules, hates life. Hates he has all. a god complex. Yeah, he but has, he didn't hate life though. No, no, he has a god complex. He has a god complex. He finds a fucking supernatural book that literally you can control someone's lifespan. Well, he didn't find it. He was. Sad. You know what I mean. He <laughs> finds a supernatural book that allows you to control someone else's lifespan and how they die. Blah yeah. blah blah. They had no need to fuck that entire story up. They can shorten it to so the So you watched it? I, I saw it. Yeah, I, I saw it in the live action. You watched and it too? That's all right. They completely right. butchered it to the point where they changed the character's name. They changed the no. origin of most characters. They no. changed how they act. The only person they ever got right. L? God bless this nigga. So yes. I knew it. No, not L. They fucked up L. What? Yeah, they fucked like up Keith Lang, Keith Lang, No, not Keith Lang. He oh. got a little bit of the personality right, but it just, it just didn't it fit. It wasn't. Right. It didn't fit well because, again, anime and, like, just Japanese, like, uh, like, uh, like, stuff in general, like, when it comes to, like, manga and stuff, there's so much inner monologue and, like, how that monologue just sets the tone yeah. of characters. Sure. That's what's there. And he does not, he did not have that tone. It look good in live action. That's why they don't fucking do that. Yeah, of That's course. Right. Niggas don't do that shit. Exactly. Imagine a nigga just get into a fight and they just like start like mumbling to themselves out of nowhere. No, there's been there's been shows that um, live action they did monologue. Name one. I don't know, but I can. I remember one. That I know they have it. I know some do it as comedy. Yeah. But... But not like, and we're talking about in the sense of like, you know, like just watching it in anime. Like anime. Live action, yeah. But see, there was only one, there was only one good person that nailed Death Note. The only thing that nailed, nailed Death Note? Nailed Death Note in live action. Oh, yeah. Really? William Dafoe. They, William Dafoe fucking what? nailed the angel of death. When? He really uh, did a great he job as a voice actor. Death. Wait, well, you I didn't watch any of them because I didn't want to mess it up for myself. You haven't watched the whole. You haven't watched Death Note at all. I watched all of Death Note. I don't watch. But he it played uh, the he played uh, the, light light Yagami's like a uh, uh, yeah, angel of death. Yeah. He no played the, Shinigami. Yeah, he played Shinigami. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, the name of it. Really. It's an angel of death. 
Yeah, he played the Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, it's a, it's a Shinigami. He played Willem Dafoe played the Shinigami. Okay. And he did such a fucking amazing job to really? him. He he fucking terrified me as they told that. <laughs> yeah, he really has the he has the Willem Dafoe has the voice for him. Yeah, he, he played that part perfectly. And honestly, I gotta give him he he didn't save the movie, obviously. But no, had, God, no. That did, nigga did not save the movie. But he's a good actor, though. He's yeah, a great voice actor, actor too. Mean can say, one good actor doesn't mean you can save the whole movie. No, no, of course. Especially if he's just a really a supporting actor. Yeah, that, he doesn't mean it. Even if you're so, like, yeah, dialing back to uh, the Dawson show, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson is a great actress. She didn't save, she didn't save the fucking movie. Yeah, but Scarlett Johansson was the reason why I didn't watch the movie. Literally, because they was like, so why are you saying, you're agreeing with us? What? You said, yeah, but but you, you're agreeing with us. The movie was crap. Yeah. You know, I agree no, the movie saying, was trash. She was the reason why I didn't watch it, even though she's a good actor. She was the reason why I didn't watch it, because I don't want to see Scarlett Johansson as fucking major. Yeah, yeah. God, and that's what I was telling you. Like, no one asked for Scarlett Johansson to be major. Yeah. Like, no, one, no one's like... We can tell... I can tell you this right now. I don't know Scarlett Johansson's life like that, but... That you can tell she didn't belong in that type of movie. Exactly. Not saying that she's only Black Widow or she's only like, but you know it. It. I would rather she's have an like before she became Black Widow. Yeah. Yeah. I know it, yeah. You know, I would rather have her. I'd rather have like a Japanese woman actually play major. Yeah. yeah. You know. I don't think some of these animes, these characters aren't Japanese. They are Japanese. Not all of them are Japanese. Like they're the one Most piece. of them are, unless they stay yeah, in. Example, one piece is pretty multicultural. Wait, one piece is hella multicultural. But yeah. they don't have, they don't have nations like America and stuff like that. Exactly, right? but they're not yeah, all. They're not but, all Japanese. Yeah, I agree. Because yeah. they don't have that. The Japanese is not a thing. But they're still different. Okay, it's so still, how the One Piece world is, there is Japanese. legit different like continents, and there's also like, I'm not like, okay, there's different continents, and there's like, there's okay, there's niggas with like long necks. Yeah, but I'm Shut the fuck up, bro. There's no, there's no. There's no. Like, it still doesn't besides the point. If, it's like it's still supposed to me- represent like how the world is, like and also like exactly. uh, yeah, in the city of Alabaster, there are some people that have like you know certain skin like, that's like certain yeah. like you know uh, like. like if they ever did a live action, not all of them are actually Japanese. Like for example, there's a point where fucking All Might was in America. <laughs> he's, he's the no, only Japanese. He's native. American though. All Might is American. All oh, Might's American. He's American. So that's, you just helped us prove the point. And what point? When you change an adaption from Jap- like from anime to, 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 uh, I mean, it's just also to get his point, but also with his point. When you change an anime from anime to live action, you don't have to, for example, I didn't care that Charlotte Johansson was the character. Some people give the fact that, oh, she's not Japanese, though. People believe that if a state, if something is made out of Japanese people... Yeah, but I don't care if she's Japanese or not. I just don't want her to be Scarlet. Oh, Japanese. I know, but here's this point out. People, a lot of fan boys, fan people that are assholes, they believe, oh, man, if this, if this anime was made from Japanese people, everyone should be Japanese in, in the anime. No, well, I'm no. not going to disagree with them. Because well, I, I don't really believe that. That's how they do it in the anime. The same so. way how we make cartoons in America... It doesn't mean every cart, every person that cartoon has one only ethnicity. Every, okay. Yeah, it's like that. If, if you look at, like I said, if you look at One Piece, it's a heavy duty. You know it. You know a heavy duty Japanese anime. Yeah. One of the biggest ones. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the biggest. It's the top uh, shonen genre. But it's a big three. Yeah. Exactly. If you, but because of everyone's complexion and all that, I bet you there'll be nerds, which has happened before. Where they're like, oh, everyone should be Japanese if they make a live action show. Original, I'm not original, original with that. Who sops the nigga? Exactly. Calm the fuck down. Yeah, okay, yeah, I like oh, that. What's it? What's it? What's it? Luffy's Mexican, nigga. Supposedly, oh, oh, oh. Luffy's the, Mexican. Supposedly, the only Asian or Japanese nigga is fucking Zoro. Like that's how it is. Wait, how do you get Luffy to be Mexican? Yeah, supposedly he's Mexican. Who said that? Because he, he, didn't you hear him in the show? He said, "I'm the." <laughs> I'm like having this fuck you Underle did not say underle Grand line Underle <laughs> Oh my god Luffy is not Mexican Don't And you're going to help with that If I type it in right now while y'all talk What ethnicity is Luffy I better shut your asses up I, know, I believe you He's not Mexican I, There's no I, I way he's Mexican 
Okay. This is for this is for the this is one of the last topics, right? Yeah. What ethnicity is Luffy from One Piece? <laughs> oh, Luffy's Japanese. Zoro's <laughs> German. <God. laughs> Wait, Zoro's German, yo. But he used katanas. It doesn't mean you can't. What the bro? This you, is a made up nigga, world, bro. Where's your fucking katana, nigga? You have to. You have a built katana. So and you're black. Exactly. I'm, I'm Asian. Look at my eyes. Where's your Where's your uh, uh, Shaka Zulu stick, nigga? <laughs> because, I'm Caribbean. Because for you have information. Doesn't mean yeah. So I, I can look at. Oh my god! It's just all right, guys. But it's been a pleasurable show. Nami's American, Usopp is Brazilian. Why is okay, American? That makes Sanji's sense. French. Okay, yeah, definitely. He could. <laughs> Chopper's Canadian. <laughs> well, he's a ring. Well, either oh. way, either way, uh, I guess we gotta wrap up this show. So, this is one diverse ass fucking cat. Stay tuned for the next episode, okay? We are over and out. <laughs>